Hi there, this is Jono from OptiZen AI. In this video, I'm just going to walk through one of our prompts for product descriptions where we can update product descriptions individually or a group of products or in bulk at scale and add frequently asked questions to existing product listings. Now, the prompt itself is pretty simple. However, we can also add an extension, an optional extension to the prompt to then add the frequently asked question schema code in HTML format to our product pages as well. And then those product pages will actually validate in the Google Structured Data testing tool. So we'll walk through how to create this prompt uh, using an example here. So we're gonna use this particular product as an example, just, just one product to run our test. We'll search for that product in OptiZen AI, and here's our product here. We'll check that product and click next, and then we're gonna go search for our prompt. So this particular prompt we're gonna use, we're only gonna update the product description of this particular product. So we don't need to worry about the SEO title or the H1 page title or SEO description. You can do that if you want and run those at the same time. But in this example, we're just gonna run it individually. So this prompt right now is not in the prompt repository. It will be soon, but it's in my personal repository. And the title for the prompt is FAQ for existing product description with schema. So now you can see that we've had this prompt added to the product description field. And I'll just read the prompt. Read this e-commerce product description. Do not remove this description. Below the current product description, add a HTML space, then create a heading in H2 tags, popular questions. Then add a HTML space, then write the text. The following are some common questions we're asked about this product. Then add a HTML space. Then create three frequently asked questions and answers about this e-commerce product. Write the questions and answers only. The questions should be wrapped in H2 tags. The answers should be wrapped in P tags. Then add HTML, JSON, schema, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> for the frequently asked questions. Wrap the code between opening and closing JSON schema tags. The prompt itself is pretty short and sweet. It's taken a little bit of time to get this right. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a more nuanced prompt for AI to work through. So we'll just we'll just go through some of the actual sections of the prompt. So read this e-commerce product description. So obviously we want the AI to read the description first and then do not remove this description. So it's important to have do not remove this description so it knows to leave it uh, in the existing product description. Then below the current product description, add a space. So we're just adding a uh, HTML space and then create the heading. So within these H2 tags, you can also make these H3 if you like, and you can call this whatever you want. You might just call this frequently asked questions or uh, extend the section. Then add a HTML space again, then write the text. The following are some common questions. So that would just be your text under the H2 heading uh, with a, a semicolon. And then we want it to actually add the FAQ. So then add add another space, then create three frequently asked questions. So again, you can have one, three, five, whatever you like uh, about this e-commerce product. So important to have about this e-commerce product. Write the questions and answers only. The reason we've added this in is if you don't put this in, sometimes the AI will, like at each heading, it'll add FAQ for the questions or it might add a number, one, two, three. If you wanted to do that, you can ask it to do that or just leave it and it'll it'll have the uh, prefix on each question with the number. So one, question one, question two, for example. So here we're just being a little more detailed in what we want it to do. And it, it tends to then just create uh, the questions and answers only. The question should be wrapped in H2 tags. I'm actually gonna change that to H3. The answers should be wrapped in Paragraph tags, just to distinguish between the H3 tags. Then add HTML JSON schema code for the FAQs. Wrap the code between 
opening script tag. So if you don't add this, uh, it'll create the schema without the opening and closing tags for JSON. And it'll just add that code on the front end of, of the site within the product description. So we want that have the opening and closing, whoops, the opening and closing tags. So it will add it uh, within the HTML of the of that particular product. Okay, so that's now done. Uh, again, you can edit this however you like, but this is kind of the foundation prompt that is working well at the moment. So we'll click proceed. Actually, we need to give it a name. So we'll call it uh, okay, test with schema. Now we can run it. So it's doing its thing. We've now got it initiated successfully. Okay, and then it's in the logs. So it hasn't processed yet. I'll just pause this uh, and refresh when it's ready. Okay, so the process has completed and now we have our logs here and it's successful. Uh, we didn't update the SEO title or, or H1 or description, so they haven't been changed as you can see. But if we look at our product description, we can see the old content here. We ask it to keep the description. It has actually changed the description a little bit, uh, but it's still as we would like it. And then we have our internal links here that, that was created in a previous prompt. And then we have our popular questions that have been added. Uh, just to, I'll make a note that as I was running the initial prompt, uh, what it was doing was removing these HTML links. So what I did was edit the prompt slightly and ran it again. So, and we'll have a look at the actual end result on the front end in a second, but you can see the, the FAQs have been added in the correct way under these HTML links. Now, the, the way I re redid the actual prompt, I restored this particular product and then went back and went through the process again. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the template, the updated template that I used in the template section. So under my personal templates, and you can see this is actually it here. So I'm going to edit that and I will add the prompt in here. So basically all I changed was uh, I, I told it where the end of the product description is. So the end, the end of the product description is the last HTML link. Do not remove this description below the current product description, description at a HTML space. So that's where the actual new section of the prompt starts. So that's all I did. I'm just going to save it now. So I've got it for next time. So now if we have a look at our front end and we refresh the page, we can see here we have our frequently, oh, sorry, our popular questions in this particular example, our popular questions have been added. It did also add Q and A. Um, again, we need to sort of tweak the prompts to, to have them 100%, uh, but this is a pretty good result uh, for this particular uh, product with popular questions. Okay, hope that makes sense. Uh, feel free to play around with the, uh, the, the prompts within AI and, and get them tweaked for each of your use cases. And once you've you've actually got a, an individual test created like this, then obviously you can go through and, uh, and run the prompt on bulk. Keep in mind also that uh, if prompts don't work or, or, not, or you wanna just tweak them further, you also always have this restore function, uh, which just restores it back to the original version. Um, all, all the, the uh, original version to store in our database. It doesn't go back through AI, so it's not going to cost anything to restore. And um, you can always restore back to the original version while you're testing. Thanks. We'll see you in the next video.